Welcome back to Learn MoGraph, and today we're going to be taking our trim path knowledge just a little bit further, and we're going to be using it to animate hand-drawn looking typography, and add a couple different effects on it to make it kind of interesting and unique. And to do that, we're going to use a handwritten looking font, and we're going to use that as an alpha map. So let's delete our layers here, go up to our text tool, and we're just going to type in a word that we want to draw on. And we'll go up to window, character, I think we're going to select something like Dancing Script. That looks like a nice handwritten font. And we'll center that up in our composition. And we're going to go up to our pen tool. And we're just going to draw on these letters as if we were writing them with a pen. So we're going to start at the beginning of this L here, and we're just going to follow it along. And this is going to be our text layer. We're going to twirl down our options here. We're going to delete the fill. We're going to turn the stroke on. And we'll change the stroke color to something that we can see a little bit better, blue. And we're going to change the stroke width so it covers the entire letter. So that looks like it'll about do the trick. We adjust our points here a little bit. Okay, now our L is completely covered. And it's okay if the lettering isn't perfect because we're gonna be masking this out with the text layer underneath. So we're just gonna go through and do this for each letter and then I'll show you how to make it appear as if it's drawing on. Okay, now that we have our letters all drawn in in the order that we want them to appear, we're going to twirl down our shape options. We're going to go to add, trim paths. And we're just going to twirl down our options. We're going to crank the end all the way down to zero. And we're going to move this keyframe to the beginning of our composition. And we're going to go forward to about two seconds. And we're going to set the end to 100. And right now it draws on all of the letters at once, which is, which is kind of a cool effect, but we do want this to look like handwriting. So we're gonna change this to trim multiple shapes individually. And now it is trimming the shapes individually, but it's going backwards. So I think what we need to do is delete our end keyframes. We're going to drag our start keyframe to 100, add a keyframe there and bring that to the beginning of the composition. And we're just gonna drag this down to zero. Okay, now it's drawing on in the right direction. Now to make this look like the font, we're going to select our type layer. We're going to drag our track mat selector over to the text layer that we have here. Now it draws on and maintains the same shape of the letters that you originally saw. And you can do more interesting things like this, like you can duplicate our type layer, put the second one below the original, shift it forward a couple keyframes, and we can change the color on it. So we can make this like a nice yellow and we'll shift our original text layer forward a couple frames. Now we have like a two color draw on. You can add a third color here as well by duplicating again. And we'll change this one to something like red. And this makes it really easy to get some really interesting looking draw on effects for your text.